finally, we back. Corned beef is ready. So we're going to get it out the pot. Just got ready. It's ready to come out of here. Let's get it out. Uh-oh. I don't want it to fall apart. And it's just what it's trying to do on me. Get it on this platter. All on the platter. Put it down. This is going to go, once I slice it enough for my sandwich, it's going to go back in there. I'm going to grab my bread, my mustard, and my pickles. I can't do it without my Great poop ball. My Clausen pickles. And I told you guys I had a special bread I just discovered. Let me find them. Yes. I got to show you this bread. Grab a couple of these. I'm ready for it to trust me. See, I don't eat in the middle of the day and I have breakfast. Most of the time I wait for dinner. Just let me show you this bread. Okay. See, it's a rye pumpernickel. It's delicious. Get me a couple of pieces out of here. I make a good size sandwich. I'm gonna just pop it in the microwave just to get that cold off of it. I don't want that on there. I'm on the hot sandwich. That's for a couple of seconds, guys. that cold off of there. Nope, that didn't do it. A couple of more seconds. There we go. That should do it. Okay. There we go. Keep my bread. Try to get the air out of it. As much air as I can. It would stay fresh longer. You guys know that. Okay. Mm -hmm. and now, see, you cut, you cut a corned beef. You got to see what I'm doing here. Matter of fact, let's bring this down so then you can really see what I'm doing. Let you be able to see what I'm doing. Okay. Now you can see well what I'm doing. Okay. Like this corn beef, I want to turn it over. That is over here, turn it around like so. There we go. I'll just put that piece over there. All right, like the grain of it is coming this way. Okay, you want to cut it across the grain going this way. See? Okay. Slide them back so, so we can get our slices right. 
Okay. And just hold it with your fork. I got a serrated knife and go to slice it. Slice. This part that one slice correctly and get over there. I just slice this part right here. Try not, I can't slice all of it. I'll just deal with this part and slice that up. And slice it thin as you can. Now I'm gonna make a real sandwich. There we go. Just hold it and slice. I can stand to sharpen my knife a little bit. There we go. You know where Hammy is, don't you? Standing right up under me. I'm not going to let him taste it. He, he know what it is. He know what I'm slicing. He been smelling it all day. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get him peace. This hot Hammy. Wait, I got to get a napkin for him. Y'all know how he is. Mm -hmm. mm. Now he got to pee. That looked like a good sandwich worth, but I'm going to slice a couple more pieces. I'm going to slice this piece. I like fat on my corn beef. Let's see. Going, going that way. I just slice some fat off here. I got to have that fat on my corn beef. Some more. Okay, that should make a decent sandwich. Here's gone already. Now the rest of that will go back in the pot. And all the doors get better. Okay. Mm hmm. Trust me, it landed on the napkin. Now, sit down here and make a sandwich. Get some napkins because I want to drain my pickle. I don't want anything wet on my, on my sandwich or by my sandwich. There we go. Oh, boy. these just drain the juice there we go should have closed well enough and get my bread over here and get our mustard on there that's plenty a little more. Get that off of there. Okay. Now I'll just take my knife and spread it out. Put some on this side. Put some on that side. 
Okay. All righty. And then we're going to layer our meat on here. Let me just slice this so I can layer it up here. Put it all, try to put it all on there. <laughs> I sure am. What did I do with my fat? I mean, this is dinner. I'm not going to have anything with it. Maybe some uh, vegetable juice. Because I found out that's acidic. Because of the tomato juice in it. And that's will help with digestion as well. Now this part that crumbled up is going on there too. I'm a taste for us though. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh wow. That's good. I mean I got the right flavor in there. Just perfect. It's, the seasoning is perfect. It's not bland. It's not over salty. I told you I'll make it, didn't I? Get all that meat on there. Mm -hmm. well, we can't put the crumbs back in the pot. So it might as well go on the sandwich. There we go. I cook with cheese, but I don't like, really like Rubens. Not at all. They just give me bread and meat. And there we go. And of course, yeah, I'm going to slice it on the diagonal. It won't go to waste. It's delicious, guy. Now, I'm going to put my pickles up here. And that's it. Let me take this. Excuse me while I put it back in the pot. I'll probably end up freezing it. Some of them, some for sure. I am going to make a corn, some corned beef hash for you guys. I love corned beef hash, real corned beef hash, not this stuff in the can. I don't know what the hell that is. Excuse my French, but I don't know what that is. All right, and there we go. Right with you guys. Let's clean up my table real good. Want nothing on my table. Okay. We ready to eat. Sure is. Get the heavy stuff. Ready to eat. Hamburg. 
Mommy, go. Eat her snack. Okay, let's see what we did. Even though I know I already know how good it is. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for this um, dinner I'm about to receive. Amen. Okay, let's go in, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. I'm going to tuck him back up under there. Give me a bite of this pickle. I can't face you guys because my mouth is so full. Man. I'm good. I told you it's going to be good. And it sure is. I'm going to bring that bread. See, pumpernickel bread is made with a little chocolate in it. So, man, the way it, I can't explain. It's just good, really good. It's so delicious. Go get some. Boil yourself a corned beef. I don't know what type of pills you like, but I love my claws and kosher deals. But I can't get up from the table right now because I got to go back in. Mm -hmm. God's so good to me. Every single day of my life, he sent me a blessing. Yes, he does. And thank you to the lady that was so good to me today. I really appreciate you. You know, just when I think I'm sinking, someone always comes to throw me a, a, a rope. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Times are hard. Now just keep my faith in God. Let's go back in. One more again. <laughs> I'm going to bite as much this time. Now, even though that was a double bite, I know you guys saw that. I took nowhere near as much as I did that first bite. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So. Um, thank you guys for watching. I love you for watching. And please continue to watch. God bless you all. And please stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.